Hello there, today we will talk about the unit stances in Ferro. We will discuss what is wrong with them, what can be improved and probably how to use them to have very easy time playing Ferro. Very first question, why don't you use stances? Why? Please tell me in the comments your opinions and reasons why you are not using these and that uh, unit stances at all. There are m more reasons and I'm curious what are your honest opinions. In order to get somewhere we will review every single stance, whether it is a good stance which you should use or bad which requires some more uh, fine tuning or, or improvements or some which are ugly and absolutely strong in current game. Mm. So let's start with the hold which is very simple stance and there is nothing wrong with it. Only there is a one unit which has this uh, hold stance as uh, redundant. Otherwise this is pretty good uh, stance you can use it uh, if you want. Then we have a lot of uh, spear walls, shield walls, spear brace, etc. First one is uh, having the charge reflect, the other one also is having the shield uh, missile parry and last one is uh, usually for sword units is having expert charge defense instead. Uh, quickly they are pretty good, defensive you will block and stop enemy charge. That's pretty fine. Next we have Redoubt, quite interesting ability for elite units, which will make you immune to flanking, which is very valuable and there is nothing wrong with this ability. It's pretty solid, good. I like it as well. Next we have the unit stance, which has this weird name, Defend. Uh, it is giving extra melee defense. And in my opinion, 7 melee defense is so, so much. It's, uh, you can have it on some cheap units and it's going to be very strong. That's why I think this is still not ideal, this is overpowered and it should be tuned down in my opinion. Uh, if you disagree, that's absolutely fine. Please write your ideas, how would you change the, this ability if any. Next we have Wall of the Palastu which is a brand new ability uh, from the latest DLC and which is having not just more melee defense but also missile parry and yes this is way too much. Uh, that's why I think it's even more ugly, even uglier than, than previous stance. So so yeah, you will have a very easy time playing Palace 2 units. Another new formation is the Kelona, which is having quite a lot of uh, things on the unit, on the description. So we got Missile Parry, Melee Defense, Melee Attack, Steadfast, Immune to Flanking, well, well. Um, really, I think uh, the Melee Defense and Attack is too big difference and it will transform your front line into absolute uh, rock solid uh, indestructible kind of uh, force and it's ruining the combat balance and it's uh, it's really shifting the uh, combat flow absolutely and the missile parry in my another video i have shown you that this missile parry is actually not working so uh, I would be absolutely fine if we delete this attribute from the formation. That's why I think this, yeah, this is absolutely strong ability. You will have very easy time playing share dance. Next, we have very basic advanced uh, stance, which is forcing your units to push your enemies, especially if you are more heavy, heavier than opponents. This is pretty good stance for tactical maneuvers, mm, nothing wrong with it. Next we have Reckless Advance, which is 
same but it is giving you more melee attack and less uh, melee defense and I can tell you this it really hurts such melee defense will be will mean that you will lose a lot of HP a lot of uh, guys models and it's not going to be worthy and there is another reason uh, if you look which units have this reckless advanced ability you will see that many of them are two-handed chargers and uh, two-handed chargers should be cycle charging not grinding uh, when you look back on the advance it, it means that your guys will be pushing and grinding but you have so many chargers that you do not want to grind you want to pull them back and cycle charge so that's why I think this ability distance needs to be uh, redefined maybe rework maybe assigned to different units right now I do not recommend it on the other hand we got heroic advance which is giving no negatives only plus five defense uh, this is quite strong uh, your unit will be holding a lot and pushing and do you know why I really believe this is even even stronger look at which units have this heroic advance these are very strong elite units and because uh, they are because they are strong and I can use the extra melee defense on top of that that's why uh, I will change the current uh, multiplayer battles into using these units together with heroic advance I can bring a lot of Queen's Guard with advancing like this and win battlefield trust me I think this uh, ability right now is quite strong and and needs to be kind of uh, slightly adjusted another kind of advancing we have the daring advance which is on top of extra melee defense we got the steadfast ability so I think it is even better than heroic advance another very new ability is onslaught it is just causing dread and giving you strong vigor uh, these, uh, these extra abilities are absolutely fine that, there is nothing wrong with that you will keep your stamina or you will not lose morale so easily that's nice small bonus then we have give ground stances the basic one you can slowly push pull your unit back it is pretty good uh, you can use it for tactical battles and I use it as well there is a fallback alternative which is uh, uh, allowing you to retreat at double speed so they are walking faster at the cost of the stamina which is um, quite um, normal trade-off I would say and you will see that uh, this ability is on many archers uh, that's why I kind of um, I will need a I will need to make a video about the missiles and this ability because there is one detail that you will be interested but for now uh, I'm not using this ability at all because my archers are not fighting in melee but there is something new and good there are three new units which are using the fallback and these uh, warband wielders outrunners they are chargers and with this with a single click i can pull them back and then i can cycle charge very easily i want fallback to be in uh, many cycle charger two-handed units uh, right now i am not sure is this ability this is is this stance good is it bad is it strong or not please tell me if you even use it or how it should be used then we have another different um, retreat ability this one is uh, giving you extra defense at the cost of melee attack in my opinion uh, losing 7 melee attack and if you if you count 
plus 5 minus 7 is minus 2 in your melee, your unit will be underperforming. And that is quite sad because look at these uh, high tier units and I'm not gonna use retreat even if I would because they are going to underperform. And this is, this is why I don't like uh, having so big minus attack and that's why I am not using the retreat ability even though I see some good tactical uses. So, but tell me if you agree or not. And almost last we got some something for missiles. Rapid fire is, as the name suggests, giving better reload at the cost of range. Uh, you can comment whether you want stronger reload time, whether range debuff is uh, fine. In my opinion, this is absolutely fine and usable. And the, the benefit of this ability is that you can toggle it. Uh, you can enable and disable it if you want. And very last ability is aim through. Uh, the strong part is the sharpshooter. You are going to ig ignore enemy shields. Uh, it's just for 20 seconds. So you need to time it correctly. You need to be close enough and you will not sh shoot so many uh, arrows or volleys because of the real time. So I think this is balanced, um, but you can tell me if you prefer some changes or not. I would, I would like to hear what you th think. And now it's time for you to write down your ideas. How would you balance the unistances? What do you think, what is, what are, what are the other problems about the stances that I have mentioned here? So, so that's it. That's it. Thank you and see you later.